when watering trees and shrubs and, and looking at uh, these plants, uh, you know, we're starting to see here on campus some of the effects of the heat and the drought on our plants. We're starting to see some, some leaves, the margins of the leaves are dying back, some leaves are dying. Uh, the, the plants are losing some leaves, so you'll notice maybe in your trees and your shrubs fewer leaves or leaves along the ground dropping out. So that's all the plant's natural response to less water. So that shouldn't alarm you, but it should also remind you that we need to start looking at how we're going to care for these plants. Uh, one of the approaches is to look at soaking the soil around the plants, really kind of just beyond the drip line of the trees and shrubs. We want to avoid getting water right up to the base of the plant, so we don't want them shooting into the, into the bottom of the tree, into the trunk of the tree, or the bottom of the shrubs, the crown of the shrubs, or the perennials, uh, because then uh, our plant pathologists, Amy and Lauren, will have other concerns and they'll have all kinds of questions about root rot and, and different problems there. So we want to stay away from that. We really want to focus on the root zone of the plant. So just beyond the, um, the, the trunk and the crown of the plant, out here where the fibrous roots are and the, and the new roots are that do all the absorbing of the nutrients in the water for the plant. When we're using our water, we want to think about getting the water directly to the soil. So if you have a small sprinkler that keeps the water low um, or just the end of the hose or, or even some sort of nozzle that may diffuse the water a little bit, that'll help get the water around without um, washing things out and, and also you know, aiding in evaporation. We don't want anything to shoot the water too high up in the air because we're going to lose some of that water to evaporation. We want to be responsible in the way we're using our water. When watering uh, our perennials, you know, I like to think of, of trying to get the water down maybe about six inches or so into the soil. And you'll want to use some sort of probe, a screwdriver, a stiff wire, something like that to get it in there uh, to make sure that we're getting the water that deep. With our trees and shrubs, you know, more like 10 inches if we can. Um, and that'll take a little bit of time and, and you're going to want to maybe have to move the sprinkler or the hose around the crown of the plant to get that much water in there. And so that's something that we're going to want to do every maybe three weeks, two to three weeks, just to, depending on the conditions. Um, periodically, after you've done your water, you're going to want to go in and, and probe the soil occasionally, maybe once a week, just to see how things are going and how dry things have gotten. And that'll help guide your, your watering timing. As far as how much water you need per plant, it really depends on your slope, your soil, and kind of your conditions around your own home or your own environment. When we're watering our turf around our homes, many times we feel like, you know, we're doing enough, the, the water's hitting the trees, hitting the shrubs, hitting the perennials. Um, the amount of water we need to give the turf a good drink maybe only needs to penetrate a couple inches into the ground. We'll hear uh, our, our turf specialists talk about how the roots have a tendency to shrink into the top part of the soil profile when we're in a droughty situation. So they don't the turf does not need as much water as our trees and shrubs do. And so that's why when we're watering our trees, shrubs, and perennials, we need to focus the water around the root zones of those plants and allow the water to slowly uh, saturate those areas and percolate down to, you know, six inches, eight inches, 10 inches, something like that. So while watering our turf will help, uh, it doesn't give our trees and shrubs enough water to really get them through this dry period.